Lesson 11.3F, Writing Real-World Problems from an Equation. We can write a real-world problem for a given equation. We can use our imagination to think of a word problem that will fit the equation. If the equation contains decimals, our word problem can involve a money situation. And if the equation contains fractions, our word problem can involve measures. By understanding how we can create a word problem to fit an equation, we will better understand how to write and solve equations. Here it's telling us to write a real-world problem for the equation 7a is equal to 56. Then solve the problem using an inverse operation. So we think a is the unknown value we need to find, 7 is multiplied by a, and is equal to 56 is the result of the multiplication. We can think of a word problem like we need seven apples to make an apple pie. How many pies can we make if we have 56 apples? 7a is equal to 56. Because this is multiplication, the inverse operation would be division. We divide both sides of the equation of the equal sign by this coefficient 7. That's going to create a 1 because we have the same numerator and denominator. So on this side, we have 1a, but we don't write a 1 as a coefficient, do we? And on this side, we have 56 divided by 7, which is 8. That tells us we can make 8 apple pies. Using our imagination, we can think of many scenarios where 7a is equal to 56 could be the equation. We could think of there are seven children on each team. How many teams are there if there are 56 children? Or Bob rode his bike seven miles each day. How many days did he ride if he rides his bike 56 miles? Or Tala stacks books, seven in each stack. How many stacks will she have if there are 56 books? Each of these will fit that equation. Here we have the equation 12x is equal to 276. We can think of this word problem. There are 12 inches per foot. How many feet are in 276 inches? We have 12x is equal to 276. We have a multiplication equation right here, problem. So we're going to divide as the inverse operation. We're going to divide by the coefficient 12 on this side of the equal sign, we have the same numerator and denominator. It creates a 1. We have 1x, but we don't write a 1 as a coefficient. On this side, we have 276 divided by 12. And we can get some scratch paper or on the side. Do 12 fits into 276 to find how many times. 276 divided by 12 is 23. We know x is equal to 23, so there are 23 feet in 276 inches. We can take this equation, 12x is equal to 276, and come up with other scenarios where the equation will fit. We put 12 donuts in each box. How many boxes will we fill with 276 donuts? Or 12 books will fit on a bookshelf. How many shelves will we need for 276 books? Or, Gus reads 12 pages of a book each day. How many days will it take Gus to finish the book if the book contains 276 pages? We use our imagination to come up with a scenario that will fit the equation. When our equation has an addition sign, we use subtraction to solve. When it has a subtraction sign, we use addition to solve. When the coefficient is next to the variable, that means multiplication, we use division to solve. And when we see the fraction bar, that means division, we use multiplication to solve. Remember, when using an inverse operation to isolate the variable, that inverse operation needs to be done on both sides of the equation, each side of the equal sign. We're finished with lesson 11.3 and we're moving on to 11.4. Our next video is using inequalities 
to describe quantities. Inequalities compare quantities and they use less than and greater than. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you'll join me for the next lesson. Bye.